Uh, probably one of your best outings of the season. I mean, how are you feeling tonight? What was working so well for you? Uh, you know, felt good overall. Um, pitch mix was really good. Uh, finally, was able to find my changeup, uh, which has kind of been missing for a few weeks. Um, but, you know, Elliot's back there, me and him on the same page for the most part. I was able to use fastball both sides of play, keep them off balance with both sliders and curveballs. And then, uh, you know, having, having that change up back was a, was a nice section factor. And just to make sure no issues with the hamstring tonight? No, no issues with it. Um, it, it, it held up all right. Thank you. All right, we'll go to Patrick Saunders. Patrick? Hey Kyle, I do want to follow up on the hamstring thing. Um, we could tell when you when you ran up first base on the one bun, you did look like you pulled up a little bit. Uh, would it be fair to say that maybe running full out it affects you a little bit? But that as as a pitcher, uh, it's not part of the equation. Yeah, um, on that bun, you know, when when I lay down the bun. I realized it was a pretty good bunt, uh, executed my job. And when I was running out of the box, felt pretty good. And then I got about a quarter way, halfway up the line, where kind of got a feeling like, ah, should probably shut it down. Don't don't want to, you know, do anything that's going to take me out of this game. Um, you know, I got the sacrifice down, I did my job, got the runner moved over, and that was it. And Buddy mentioned something uh, about uh, one of your, a blister on one of your fingers, uh, something you've been dealing with you've dealt with in the past, I know. Is that pretty much okay, manageable? Yeah, I mean, we, it, was, it was manageable today. Um, we'll, we'll continue to work on it. I mean, I've had it, you know, throughout my professional career, really. Um, so we just gotta keep doing what we've been doing to treat it, um, you know, you know, get it calloused up, get it, get it healed as much as we can for the next start. Hey, Kyle, I, I, if I have the numbers right, on this homestand, Rocky starters have a 1.35 ERA. I mean, all most of the season, you guys have been really bringing it. Uh, how proud are you to be a part of this rotation, which might go down as one of the best in franchise history? Uh, I'm very proud. Um, you know, we're we're all getting to that point in our careers where um, we've been here for a while. Uh, we understand this game well. We know how to we know how to work properly. Um, every five days, um, you know, I, I said it in spring, you know, that this team is going to uh, win and lose on the backs of starting fishing. And uh, it's, it's kind of held to be true. Excellent. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right, we'll go to Thomas and finish up with Tracy. Thomas, go ahead. Yes, um, early on, it looked like they were taking some very close pitches, trying to drive up your pitch count. But it didn't seem that you tired, even though your pitch count drum ran up early. Was this just one of those nights where no matter what, you were going to get through at least six today. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it, was, it was just one of those games where I was, I was taking it inning by inning. Obviously, that first inning I threw, I think, 25, 27 pitches, something like that, where, you know, they did their job uh, in, in the first inning, you know, getting my pitch count up there making me work immediately, um, found quality pitches off, fighting, taking good pitches. Um, but, you know, I, I was able to, you know, buckle down, you know, get that pitch count. Uh, down a little bit throughout the rest of the six innings and, uh, and able to lead the team with a chance to you know, break the tie and win a ball game. And uh, also, it, third straight, really good start for you. I mean, once you got things together on that, um, did, did you feel like, hey, I, I could roll with this one? Yeah, I mean, it, um, like you said, the past three starts have uh, definitely been who I want to be. Um, going deep into ball games, um, allowing my team a chance to, to win and and taking that confidence and rolling with it every single five days um, when I'm asked to throw the baseball. So it's, it, it's a good feeling to, to have that back and uh, hopefully continue to carry that momentum and that confidence uh, into, into my next start. What, what does it mean to you guys to have a big homestand like this one? I know that uh, you know, the road has been tough for you guys, but uh, it seems like you come back home and I wouldn't say you're a different team, but certainly the results are different. Yeah, I mean, you, you can look at the numbers. Obviously, we've been horrible on the road. Um, that's, you know, that, that is what it is this year. For some reason, uh, we're struggling to win on the road. But when we come home, I don't know what it is, but uh, we love winning at Coors Field. So hopefully we can keep that going. We can start um, getting some wins on the road and getting that ball rolling. That's for, for me. Um, 
where were you when Trevor hit his home run? And tell me what was going through your mind there, especially considering what he means to this team and and, and all that he puts into it. I, w- I was up in the training room getting treatment um, at that time, uh, but man, he, he was due for a for a big for a big home run in a big spot, and he came through for sure. So hats off to him for for doing that, and you know, really giving us a ton of momentum to finish out this game and get.